Hello. We're live. We're we live. are live again. Sorry, guys. Uh, we had some technical difficulties. We had to redial up our internet connection, but I think we got it now. Um, let me revisit what I said real quick. Um, we're going to talk about gymnastics today, um, and gymnastics is all about body position and agility, coordination, and balance with that body position through space, doing a bunch of other stuff. So push-ups, pull-ups, uh, air squats, handstands, stuff like that is gymnastics, not just iron cross and, and you know uneven bars and the vault and stuff that you see in the Olympics. Um, so the first thing we're going to talk about with the gymnastics day is hollow body position. Hollow body position is probably the most essential part of gymnastics, um, and what that involves is midline stability. So we're going to do it supine on the floor with Coach Jason here. We're going to bring those toes together. Um, what we're looking for here, guys, are no space in the lumbar spine. Okay, shoulders are active and scapula are off the ground. You can see that there. Just hold that for me if you can. I know that's tough. Toes pointed. All right. Um, and then really tight through the midline there. That is the hollow body, which is one of the principles um, of almost anything you're going to do in gymnastics. All right, now we're going to look at the other side of that. We're going to talk about arch body position. Arch body position is much like what you would hear as a Superman, right? Except for what we're really focusing on is activating the kinetic posterior chain. So what we're talking about there is glutes, hamstrings, and low back. We want to activate that. Kind of similar, but in the opposite as far as the other one goes. Chest and quads are off the ground. Okay, again, toes are pointed, knees and elbows are straight, and shoulders are next to the ears, just like he's got going on here. Okay, so we have that hollow body first, and then that arch body. Now let's jump to the pull-up bar, Coach Jason, and we're gonna put that together for one of the functional fitness staples in gymnastics, which is called a hollow rock. So notice, hollow body, arch body, hollow body, arch body. Keep swinging, point the toes, good. This is the principle to our kipping pull-up, our toes to bar, um, even kipping in a handstand, kipping in ring dips and things like that. Um, that hollow body position is the key to doing that, all right? Um, I'm gonna let Jason talk a little bit about what today's feature wad around gymnastics is and then I'll demonstrate some of those movements. Um, and we'll take some questions. And again, guys, sorry for a little bit of a hold up. It's a technical difficulty. I'm gonna call our tech guy and just see what's going on. It's obviously a mess. So. What we have today is we have a CrossFit workout, Cindy. It's one of their girl workouts. Um, what we have today is a 20 minute AMRAP. If you guys remember from previous workouts, it's as many rounds or reps as possible. And in this one, in that 20 minutes, you're gonna be doing five pull-ups, 10 push-ups, and 15 air squats. You're trying to do that as fast as you can in that 20 minute allotted time frame. So Justin's gonna go ahead and demonstrate what a Maybe not a full round would do. So first, I'll give you guys um, the RX version, the full version of that, and then we'll go through some modifications of these three simple gymnastics movements. So again, so Justin will be getting that good hollow rock position in that good hip to go into the pull-ups. So he's keeping a nice hollow body, getting that Superman in the back, getting his chest, or just below his chin up to the bar. For the push-ups, we're looking forward, just like we have before, nice, flat body, chest all the way to the ground, coming all the way up into full extension, shooting those elbows nice and back, keeping that close to our body. We'd be completing 10 of those. And then we go into a good old air squat, trying to stay with his torso upright, driving those knees out, keeping the weight on his heels. You would complete 15 of those, and then once you completed that 15, you would immediately try to go straight back to that bar, and go right into the five pull-ups again keep track of how many rounds you complete in that 20 minute time frame. Um, as you guys have seen on a previous series, if we're not ready for pull up bar, kipping, or anything like that, we could do the hollow rock as a modification to develop that skill, or we could go to the ring row, which you guys have seen before in some of our features, just a simple ring row. As far as push-ups go, we could put our knees on the ground, trying to maintain that same position, and work from there. Or if that was difficult even, we could go to a wall push-up, and work from there. Um, with the air squat, if we're not ready for that range of motion yet, we could limit that range of motion, or we could squat to a box or a ball. So we could be here, or again, I'll step over here and use the box. Maybe we're just not quite ready for that type of distance. We sit here. All right, so that's Cindy. That's a CrossFit staple. It's what we call the benchmark girl. Um, lots of gymnastics in that, 20 minutes, lots of fun. Um, what we'll do now is we'll take some questions, and again, 
Ask questions, guys. Put them in the comments. We talked about hollow body position. We talked about arch body position in gymnastics. We defined gymnastics, um, and then we demonstrated some of that. And if you cannot get to those hollow body and extended positions, you're really going to struggle with anything gymnastics related, which is something we should all try to develop. Um, we'll take some questions now. Um, so, what movements classify as gymnastics? That's a great question. Um, technically, gymnastics, you know, typically are defined by some of those ones that you see in the Olympics and stuff like that, but it's really anything manipulating your body weight through space. So, the air squats count, push-ups count, handstands count, ring dips, ring muscle-ups, bar muscle-ups, um, pretty much anything you can think of that's going to be body weight burpees. That's a gymnastics move. Pretty much anything that's going to be body weight oriented only is going to have a gymnastics element to it. Even stuff like plyometrics. Obviously, plyometrics, box jumps, right, are um, something that is specific and is working a specific goal for posterior chain and power development, but there's still a gymnastics element. You have to have a midline stability. You have to be able to manipulate that body weight through space. Mm -hmm. um, Jason, we'll go ahead and take the next question. So we have, what about handstand push-ups? So that's another, like Justin just said, that is a gymnastics movement. Um, we did not demonstrate here, but we absolutely can. Um, are, are we able to see over here? Oh, not a big deal. So if we're doing a handstand push-up, if we're doing a full one, we would look to either do it on the wall or like Justin's gonna come strolling onto the screen, hopefully. There he is. And let's see if we can do a freestanding handstand push-up. No. No, he sure can't, but he can walk. That's pretty neat. Bar, bar. Woo! That about took my face off. But so, handstand push ups, handstand walks, that's another way to manipulate your body weight through space. Um, for those of you that are like, I don't want to go upside down, kick up on the wall, I don't want to be walking, it's great for shoulder stability and mobility. So, you can do them having your feet or knees on a box. You can even do it bending over here and shooting your head down towards the ground. Still getting that same similar motion to a full handstand push -in, but maybe not as intimidating as being all the way upside down because your feet are still planted on the ground. All right, I think we got time for one more question. Um, do you recommend mixing gymnastics moves with other movements? That's a great question. Um, yes, would be the short answer to that. Um, particularly when you get better at gymnastics, when you start to develop these skills and you're thinking, hey, I'm good at pull-ups. Hey, I'm good at uh, hollow rocks, I kipping, pull up, I chest a bar, I can do a bar muscle up. Then what we want to do is develop those skills when we're at a high heart rate. So maybe we're doing some metabolic conditioning. Hopefully some of you guys that are watching remember that term and uh, remember what it means. And we're mixing that with the gymnastics move to see can we uh, maintain midline stability and our position even when our heart rate is high. And that's when you're getting into upper level stuff and you're talking about competitive functional fitness, which is my passion, which is a lot, a lot of fun. Um, but once again, guys, thank you for joining us. We're sorry for the uh, little delay there. And come and see us at the Vidant Performance Center. You can also check out uh, Vidant Wellness Center slash Performance Center uh, dot com. Uh, we have a new website, really cool features, um, and it's linked right into our coaches line. Um, so if you have questions and stuff, please give us a call. We'd love to talk to you. You can come by and try a class or work through some of the coaching. Uh, again, I'm Coach Justin. This is Coach Jason. And don't fret, Coach Chuck will be back next week to entertain you guys. Um, so have a good one, and thanks for joining us. See ya.